Hi, welcome to Bezalel. My name is Jade. If this is your first time here, welcome. Bezalel is an interior design platform where we talk about tricks and tips that you can use to style your home like a professional without breaking the bank. On today's video, I will be sharing um, tricks and tips that you can use to style your living room, your city room, or your parlor, whichever word you use to describe it. So my very first tip is you want to get your wall colors right um your the, the color you choose to paint your wall is very important because it forms the foundation and the base in which every other thing you do would stay on so you need to get your colors right i would say go for neutral colors so white if you can do white um beige you know gray I would also say do lots of natural colors, so light blue, light green. I would, I would technically advise, I would technically avoid colors like red, like yellow, like um, orange. You know those really warm colors. You want to avoid them in your city room. But if it's something you like and you're good at, like good at combining, that's okay. But if you're not very um very comfortable with colors and you're not sure how which color to choose for your living area. I would say go for very neutral colors so your beiges your gray your white there are different shades of white it doesn't have to be the brilliant sparkling white they are off-white colors of shades of white that you can use go for light um go for natural colors for light blue light green it keeps you it keeps your space feel really um cool it helps you to relax and it also form a very good base for whatever else you do in your space that's my very very first tip um secondly i would say you need to get your window treatment right so it depends on what you want to do with your space if you are going for um blinds you're going for curtains i would say you need to get your window treatment right i have done a video on how to hang your curtains professionally so i'm going to share the link in the description box so please click on that video to see how to style your curtains well i shared different them. Um, things that you can do to help your curtains look good so it's not about buying expensive curtains it's about knowing how to hang your curtains and knowing what type of curtains to buy so go to that video and watch that would also help you to style your living area so that's my second tip my third tip is you really want to avoid um matchy matchy furnitures i know if you grow up say in nigeria and in, in africa maybe in nigeria a lot of our furniture were matching matches so you had the three sets of you had the three seater they had the single set you had the single seat and everything just matched each other that's a bit um if you style your home that way now it looks a bit um it doesn't look modern it makes your home feel very dated so i would say you need to try and mix your furniture what do i mean you can get a sofa that's basic you know get your sofa first and then you get what we call accent chairs accent chairs are like um they are like singles they, are, they come in pairs they're like single chairs that come really lovely designs and you can use them to style your home they don't necessarily have to match your furniture rather they should complement your furniture and i would say if you like colors i think your accent chairs at items that you can use to play with colors if you are really a fan of colors so you know try not to avoid try not to you know get make your furniture match it don't, don't don't try not to make your furniture match each other the aim is for them to complement so you want to get complimentary sofa complimentary accent chairs you want to get complimentary um side stools even your you know it doesn't have to be matchy matchy that kind of thing just still on furniture i would also say you need to ensure that you get the right size of furniture for your space if your space is small you need to ensure that you don't buy big furniture so try and you know measure the furniture try and measure your space and have an idea of how much furniture you should use because when you put a big furniture in a small space the space looks very cluttered and it feels very you know it feels very um choked and it feels very heavy so i would say ensure that you get the right furniture based on the size of your room if you have a very big living space you don't want to get too small furniture you want to get enough furniture to fill up the side of the space but then avoid getting but 
you avoid getting furniture that would overwhelm the space i don't know if you might point so you don't want your furniture to be you don't want to be you need to, you need to get the right proportion for your furniture so get the right amount of furniture that would fit your space if it's a very large space you don't have to fill it up with furniture but get enough to make it feel balanced another tip i would i would share is when you get when you you know you've you've gotten the right shade of color for your wall you've gotten the right curtains you have the right furniture a good way to try to tie that space together is get a center rug center rugs are very good they what they do is that they they just pull everything you've done together and gives your space a very cozy and warm feel it also makes it uh, it, it also creates this space to have um conversation so to get a center rug um center rugs can be expensive especially if you, if you live in nigeria so i'm not going to say get the right side but really the, the the ideal thing is you want to ensure that when you when you buy your center rug at least the the front legs of your furniture would be able to stay on top of the rug that's actually the right size of rug tissue you don't want to use a center rug that is too small you want to ensure that the the, the front legs of your furniture are able to stay on top of, your, on top of your center rug if you can get the one that all your furniture can stay on them that would be very amazing that would be really lovely but i kind of understand that it's a bit expensive to get um center rug in nigeria if you are you know maybe in the uk in the us it might not be that expensive so if you cannot get a big enough um a big enough center rug just ensure that the front the the front um legs of your furniture stays on that and that should you know help and that should make your and that should give you a very cohesive and well put together look another thing i want to say is that this this might be space dependent but as much as possible try and take the, your furniture away from your world people feel that the best way to make it to make a space feel spacious is to push the furniture up against the wall but what it does is that it doesn't make your your space feel warm it, it makes it feel so you have this space in the middle of this of, of your of your room, but it doesn't make your space feel cozy and warm but the best thing i would that i would advise is try to move your furniture away from your wall you don't want for just touching your wall what it does is that when you bring your furniture, you know, away from your walls, it creates a very nice, warm um, um, space, and it also creates space. It also creates a feel of conversation. So try not to put your, try not to push your furniture up against the wall. And that tip I would share, I think I've lost count on where I am, is when you, well, some people who oh, have, you know, can afford it, have like very lovely. Like a tv wall with shelves and all of that is always very nice and it could be expensive but if you have if you have a tv stand or you want to get a tv stand my advice is you don't want to buy a tv stand that is too small compared to your tv so if you have a 40 inch tv it means you, you don't want to get a tv stand that is less than 40 inches what it does is that it creates an imbalance your tv looks up looks wide and your tv stand looks very tiny it doesn't feel doesn't really look um good doesn't look well put together so i would advise that you get a tv stand that way get a tv stand that when you put your tv on it you have at least five to ten inches on both sides and that can allow you do some decorations on it. you could put some decorative items on it and just gives it a very balanced look you don't you want to have a triangle you want to have a, a form of a triangle when you put your TV and your TV stand together, you don't want an invent an inverted triangle. Um, so that's how. So that that that's my tip for getting a TV stand. Another tip I would share again when you're starting your studio is that you want to avoid um, cheap artworks. Um, you know, cheap artworks, cheap. Um, yeah, cheap artworks. Um, generally or not even having artworks in your space um having the having artworks you may not be a fan of design of art or you know creative works and all of that but trust me when you put those things in your house it makes your space very luxurious it makes it feel expensive when you look on pinterest and you know you like those spaces that you see online if you pay attention most of them would have some 
one form of artwork or the other it could be a wall art it could be a canvas design it could be a, a nice sculpture anything that really tickles your fancy please go for it but avoid really cheap for cheap um artwork I avoid mass produce artwork if you enjoy you probably have friends that are into that do different artwork try you know patronize them tell them to do something you know nice for you sometimes it could be like a picture that you take of something you really like get a frame try and you could you can print it out i'm sure there are there are print there are, there are um printing um stores that can actually print out images for you so you know you can take those pictures that you like of abstract things of nature anything you like anything you like you can take a picture of it and frame it and that is your own original that's, that is that is your own original design so you're not actually spending money on artwork but i would say avoid all those cheap 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 artwork that we just buy online you know you know those those those, those artworks that when you go to one person as i said almost everybody has it so no that's not you you are here on this channel so i'm sure you really care enough about your space and then um another tip i, th I think this should be my final tip is that um it's not exactly compulsive but i will say you know get throw pillows throw pillows tell they, they, they tie the old look together you don't want to put now get two pillows but you don't want to get too much two pillows on your, in your space so if you have a, a three seater sofa i would say two two pillows are fine and if you have a single sofa if you have single chairs and also an accent chair just one is okay you don't have to put two or three on them you don't want your two pillows to take over the seat people are meant to sit down on it but when the two pillow is sitting down on it then it doesn't look nice it just looks very very very, very, very you know it, it looks very childish you know that kind of thing so get your pillows again if you love colors if you feel you want to do splash of colors in your space your true pillow is where you can actually you know explore that you can get different designs different color you know for your for your space a mistake i see people make is that they say oh i want my space to be blue and white and then so they paint their wall white and then they put their chairs blue everything is blue you know it's um and and what they do now is that they now make the blue to be in the same tone so they use the same shade of blue and the house now has this blue this very this very you know stark contrast so there's white and there's blue if you have a color scheme in mind so you want to do white and blue you want a space that has a white and blue film that's perfectly okay you know nobody's stopping you but my advice is try and use different shades of those colors different shades of white different shades of blue you can put in some silver accessories so for example you can paint your wall in white you can put your wall in a light blue you could do like um gray sofa gray chairs then you could do maybe like you know um, accent shares in a in a lovely shade of blue. You can do two pillows that have you know, very lovely designs in different combinations of blue and white or silver. You could even train a bit of yellow. It depends. It doesn't always have to be. You know, avoid that matchy matchy. Everything has to match. You know, the aim is to complement and not match. So you want to avoid that matchy matchy thing. So try to use different shades of that color you're trying to use in your space. What it does is that it makes it look like it was well done, and then it just gives you this this lovely balance. That you don't have any stark contrast. People can still see that you're trying to achieve that blue and white or that particular color spectrum of look, but it doesn't look like a very stark contrast. That would be my advice for you. We have come to the end of this video. I think I kind of had fun um sharing all these tips and tricks with you i hope you'll be able to um find some ideas some advice based on what i've shared and be able to implement them in your space if you have any questions if you have any clarifications or if you have something that you can also add that you think would help the community please please put it in the comment section i'll be well, i'll be there and i'll be replying and also you know sharing my own thoughts too again please share this video um this platform is all about sharing tips and helping people get that really nice space without breaking the bank so help me achieve that um, aim that is my aim that is why i started this channel so help me achieve that aim share this video please subscribe 
and let this community grow so so to i see you in my next video do have a lovely time thank you for tuning in bye